Really? It, it, it was right here in this grassy patch where Bugs Bunny and Yosemite Sam first met in 1952. Which is how this got its name after Yosemite Sam. You enter Yosemite, you got the trees reaching up into the sky and the light is dancing through them, it's unbelievable. And then you come around the corner and you see El Capitan. You know that friend in high school that was really cool? You wanted to hang out with him because he had a, a cool nickname? Well, Yosemite National Park is just like that. You got El Capitan, you got Half Dome, you got all these great places and you'd want to tell people about it when you come home because it's just cool. I mean, really, my, I just had my breath taken away. So you like it is what you're saying. We're communicating, I'm getting all this. I'll let you know what he's saying. What's your favorite part of Yosemite? Um, the guy you met on the river. <laughs> I love the waterfalls. Really? There's a waterfall here? There is. We just went up to Vernal Falls, not died because it's hot. Really? We went last night to Glacier Point and we watched the Pasades meteor shower. It was just like a blanket of stars. I'd never seen anything like it before in my life. This is where you gotta take pictures. If you're gonna take pictures, you're always reminded of one of the greatest photographers of all time, Ansel Adams. What a privilege it is for me to paint him into Yosemite National Park. He was commissioned by the United States to get this out to the public. He spent hours, weeks, and months just waiting for the perfect shot when the sun would dance off the rocks and the, everything was perfect. We had no choice but to come and see what inspired him to make such beauty come alive. And it's really what's brought us all here. If you're gonna understand the national parks, you need to know John Muir. He loved this land so much. He went back to Washington, he got with Roosevelt, and he said, you gotta come out here. This is the best and the most coolest, the most amazing stuff you've ever seen. Now, Roosevelt had been all over the world, so he came out with his eyes wide open, and sure enough, he was like, wow, we need to make this a national park. John Muir was right. He is an inspired man, and today we owe so much to this man for what he has brought to the National Park Service. There are many ways to see Yosemite. I would suggest from the back of a horse. If you were stranded on an island and could only take one national park, what would it be? Yosemite? I think I understand. Ready, set, 32, 44, hut! In 1849, in the Sierra Nevadas, gold was discovered. People came here from all over the world seeking treasure. But the Mawak tribe was already here. They knew there was treasure. Just look around. Now the Mawaks had a nickname by their neighboring tribe or rivals called the Yehemides, which means the killers. So how are you gonna take care of the killers that live here in the valley? Well, of course you bring in the Mariposa Battalion, which means butterfly in Espanol. Maybe they should have looked it up before they went on to take the killers. The mighty butterflies are taking on the almighty killers. Not a good, oh, sorry. The killers, otherwise known as the squirrels, were mighty, no doubt. So it's after the Yehemite tribe that the Valley of Yosemite got its name. In 1879, the Wawana became the first of the great hotels in this area, which is awesome, with the Awanahi as the four-star super patriarch. Awesomeness! And a must stay if you can get reservations. Yosemite can get a little bit crowded, but every now and then you can go out somewhere and feel like you're the only person in the entire park. Just on the other side of the valley from El Capitan is the Yosemite Waterfalls, the largest waterfall in North America. And as you can tell, it's not peak season, which means somebody in Nevada probably doesn't need to take a shower right now because we're running out of juice for the mountains here. Part of a perfect day here in Yosemite is to come down to the river, take off your shoes, put your feet in the cool water, and to realize it's water that has shaped Yosemite into what it is today. You know, my friend growing up, his nickname was Tuna Fish. 
but that was just the beginning. After you got to know him, yeah, he had a cool nickname and he is somebody you like to hang out with, but there was so much more to him, just like Yosemite. You feel like you know Yosemite when you come home. You got El Capitan, you got Half Dome, you got Tuolumne Meadows. Then you take in all the waterfalls and all the hikes and the views and the photos that you can't stop taking. This is the type of place that you just want to tell people about. And as you're telling the stories, people will get it. They'll see it in your eyes and they'll know that, yeah, you know this person, you know this place. And you might brag a little bit like, yeah, I've been to Yosemite. We're good friends. And that is Yosemite National Park. Ready? Snap, crackle pop. Hi, honey. Hi, honey. Oh, oh, whose honey is this? This is for my wife. Ah, Yosemite. In all of its grandeur, the rocks, the trees, the sunlight dancing across the mountain tops, the beauty that really takes the soul for a ride. People are drinking their tea and enjoying it because they love nature. I have no idea what this guy is doing. He's mowing dirt. He's mowing dirt. You see that? There's no grass over there. The smell of manure. That is nature. I want you to tap your foot once if you're annoyed by me. This is El Capitan. I just climbed it. In El Capitan. I climbed it like a spider. I just went right up it. I needed no equipment at all. None. The gifts I have. Love you.